Râzi în hohote La ai umor cu Unibet Aplauze pentru Gregory Brown E pe stand Hello Hello. 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 So I speak English. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell, right? Yeah, yeah. I moved here just to get married. I married a beautiful Romanian woman, but just getting into Romania was a pain <laughs> in the butt. I had to go through three different airports, and at every single airport, I would get randomly checked at security. I don't know if it was because of my age, or because I'm American coming to Romania, or because when I travel, I like to wear a turban and a trench coat. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but every time they would take me into that little room in the back, you know, give me a very thorough search. Uh, good news, guys. They told me that I am not a terrorist. Bad news. They told me I have an inflamed prostate. <laughs> That's not good. But before I came here, I tried to learn as much as I could about Romania. Like, I tried to learn Romanian, but that's hard, you know. Like, Romanian to me sounds like the Minions from the Minion movie. <laughs> Yeah, if they hit puberty or something, just like, no te bona manuka banana. <laughs> But I, I learned a lot of cool stuff before I came. Like, you guys probably know the number one tourist destination in Romania is Dracula's Castle, right? You guys know number two? Airport departures. <laughs> But I learned also that Romanians are super smart. Very smart. Like the guy that invented the jet engine uh, and the jet plane was Romanian, a guy named Henry Kawanda. And uh, I was watching a documentary and they interviewed him and they s asked him, they were like, how did you come up with this brilliant invention? And he was like, I was just trying to get out of Romania as fast as possible. <laughs> But I did, I moved here to get married. I married a beautiful Romanian woman. Uh, she's gorgeous. Thank you. Ah, yeah, she's great. She's got that classic European body shape, you know, that classic Coke bottle shape. American women have more of a classic Coke can shape. She's great. And like before her, you know, I was, well, in America, we call it desperate. I was very, very desperate. Like, every time I went out to have sex, it was like I was going out for a job interview. Like, I would get super nervous. I'd wear my nicest clothes. I would even end up saying stuff you would say at a job interview. Like, thank you so much for this opportunity. <sighs> Listen, I'll take any position that has an opening. <laughs> And man, my wife, like, she's amazing. She's so smart. Like, she's really smart. Like, she reads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just so different for me to have an amazing, beautiful, smart wife. Uh, like, my ex was uh, a stripper, and I should have known right off the bat that that was a bad sign. Uh, there were other signs as well. Like, that first night I met her at the strip club, she was wearing this long red dress. So on the pole, she even looked like a red flag. <laughs> Physically looked like a red flag, you know? <laughs> But I did learn one really important thing about Romanians since I got here. And you know who speaks the best English in Romania? The homeless people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, say that, I say that because the first week I was out here, I was standing outside of the metro, and a little old homeless lady walked up to me, you know, and started speaking in Romanian. And I was like, you know, sorry, I don't, I don't speak Romanian. And she was like, F*** you! I hate you! Go away! She said, go away! Go home! Go home! And I was like, no, you go home! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time. Thank you. Rizin Hohode, La Ai Umor, Cu Unibet.